Hey, good afternoon. It's uh, April 16th, 2022. Uh, my name's Randy. I'm the owner and inventor of the Polar Bear Tree Puller. And I thought I'd just give you a, a synopsis of where we came from, where we're going, and uh, how it all got started. There was a company called Weed Ranch in Oregon, and uh, for some reason, he went out of business. It had something to do with taxes and the government. And the name was Weed Wrench, and I always thought that was a uh, great descriptor. Actually, it's a great name. It tells you what the tool does, and it's the name. And uh, when he went out of business, we started using Weed Wrench, or Weed Wrencher, as a descriptor. Like it was, But it was always polar bear. Weed Wrench, tree puller, root puller, root wrench, buckthorn puller, whatever as a descriptor and uh, we had done so for 10 years but never to confuse uh, the polar bear with the weed wrench because we have a superior product so we didn't want anybody to make that mistake anyway weed wrench was uh, weedwrench.com was registered in 2001 polarbear.com was registered in 2002 extractigator and uprooter were both registered domains in 2006 so we are the oldest uh, tr manual tree pulling company on the planet. And, uh, but there's been some confusing crossovers. And, and one of them was when the, with the weed wrench is bright orange. No, no mistaking a polar bear, which is white with a bright orange weed wrench. When the weed wrench went out of uh, business, the uprooter started up and he basically was making weed wrenches. He used to work for uh, Tom Ness and weed wrench and uh, he started making the uprooter which looked very similar to ours because it was white so now we have two tools that are white and look like each other and uh, again uprooter is a good name it's a good descriptor uh, at about the same time the extractigator shows up on the scene now extractigator is you know a derivative of alligator which are green so you would think that the extractigator would go with like a fluorescent green something to do with an alligator but he doesn't he goes with bright orange so now we've got a bright orange weed wrench a bright orange extractigator a bright white uprooter and a bright white polar bear so it's confusing because people will see the uprooter or they'll see our tool and confuse the two and we really don't want to be confused with them so we're a polar bear polar bears are white or off-white and that's what we are that's what we're going to stick with now, we got a cease and desist letter from CP Designs in Oregon a couple weeks ago to stop using the descriptor Weed Wrench because CP Designs trademarked that term. Now, they don't have, the, they don't have Weed Wrench.com. They don't have a store. So, doing some back, backwards uh, steps to figure out who CP Design was never never heard the heard of them before and it turns out CP designs is the uprooter <laughs> yeah. so the uprooter Curtis Pierce which is I assume stands for CP designs has filed a cease and desist order against us for using the descriptor we wrench except that you know he doesn't own the domain name and he doesn't even have a store called weed wrench he just now started making his uprooter but painting them orange and calling them weed wrenches and trademarked the descriptor weed wrench two separate words anyway i don't got a problem you know we're busy you know we have a waiting list of 200 all the time so i don't have time to go no we're going to use this no matter what so we'll gladly just stop using a descriptor of weed wrench but it's important that people know that uh we're not into litigating or litigation or anything like that. And, uh, you know, so cease and desist order, whatever. I mean, we're in Canada, he's in the Oregon. I don't even know if it has legs, but, uh, you know, we don't really care. So anyway, we've been around since, uh, 20, 2001, I think 2002. And, uh, you know, we're going strong. You know, our, the only place to source the polar bear is from us directly. Even if you find them on Amazon, that's that's just uh, smoke 
we handle all the Amazon orders. Amazon has no fingerprints on our product other than we list them there because Amazon's become, you know, a, a search engine and people go to Amazon and put in a product name to see if they can find it on Amazon, of course, because they get the free shipping with Prime and all that other stuff. But Amazon adds on adds in all the state taxes, all the handling tax, oh, it's just, it's ridiculous. You know, they take like $45, $50 of a purchase they really have nothing to do with other than a digital representation of it. So we are the only source for the polar bears. So when you order them directly from our company, guaranteed best price, there's no point in looking anywhere else on the web for them. There's no store that sells them. The price that we charge is the best price and we managed to keep it at the same price and we've had it at the same price for now for three or four years even with the inflation and I'll tell you some of our steel costs have gone up a hundred percent but you know our, we got a good enough margin and we're efficient enough that we can absorb some of that and uh, you know our prices are what you see on our website at polarbear.com have been that way for the last three or four years the only prices that have changed are new products and of course they never the price never existed before so that's the only change you'll see so anyway the confusion we are the bright well, actually kind of an off-white polar bear don't confuse us please with the weed wrench that's the last thing we would want you to do and don't confuse us with the uprooter because uh, that's not who we are so anyway thank you very much I am coming into a job site here and uh, well not really a job site I am doing some new videos so we can upload them to the website so anyway Thanks for taking your time to listen to this and uh, we'll see you next time.